Okay, we're gonna do cholesterol synthesis. This is gonna be part one of a series to get to cholesterol. So in this video, we're only gonna make it to mevalonic acid. Um, so let's look generally at the regulation of the, the pathway first off. So HMG-CoA reductase is the kind of clench enzyme for uh, regulation. And interestingly, this can be upregulated by Shreb P, which is the sterile regulatory element binding protein. So it binds on the the uh, the, the regulatory um, element, and it causes upregulation of HMG CoA reductase. And interestingly, it also causes up uh, regulation of LDL intake. So this makes sense because. Um, it not only causes increased cholesterol synthesis, but it causes more um, cholesterol uptake because the LDL particle is primarily cholesterol. Okay, so I like to look at this as primarily three sub-steps to get to this mevalonate. So we got the Claisen uh, condensation, which is a condensation between two acetyl-CoA's. We got an aldol reaction which is a reaction, an aldol reaction with those two condensed Claisen, uh, condensed acetyl-CoA's to, and then we got lastly a reduction, which is in fact performed by this enzyme, the HMG-CoA reductase. And so let's look at the structure where we're, where we're trying to get and see if we can make sense of this. So um, first of all, we got the Claisen condensation. So that's gonna form this bond here. Um, so you can kind of see how this could have been the, uh, the acetyl-CoA. There's just been an, a water attack that caused this. Here you can see this used to be an acetyl-CoA uh, from the Claisen condensation. There's just been an aldol reaction here that formed this. It caused an alcohol. Aldol, you formed the alcohol. And lastly, you can see that this used to be an acetyl-CoA in that uh, you say there's hydrogen here. And there's also one here. So the HMG-CoA reductase caused a, um, a double reduction at this carbonyl, um, which used to be an, uh, an acetyl-CoA. So how many carbons do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Three times two carbons, six carbons. All right, perfect. So let's look at the Claisen condensation a little closer to see if we can get our grips on it a little better. Okay, so we're going to start out with 2-acetyl-CoA. And this is going to be a thiolase reaction. And thiolase is also called ACAD. Okay, so 2-acetyl-CoA's. Thiolase is going to perform out the clasin. Okay, S-CoA. How does it do it? It does it with an enolate intermediate. How do we form the enolate intermediate? We deprotonate here with a general base. Deprotonate up here, okay. So what do we form? We form the enolate. And S-CoA. So th this is now ready to form a carbon bond um, because the carbon is now essentially uh, a nucleophile, so this comes down through and attacks the carbonyl. Uh, the electrons come up. At this point, I'm sure you've seen this many times, as I'm sure you've seen the Claisen um, many times. You form the tetrahedral intermediate. You have uh, the collapse of the intermediate, which causes this to leave, and you reform the carbonyl. So what do we have? We have a condensation of two ester groups, which is what um, the thiolase does. It condenses um, esters, in this case thioesters, and that's what a Claisen reaction is. It's a condensation of esters, essentially, um, CoA. So what do we have? This used to be the, the, um, the enolate. It collapsed, reformed the carbonyl. 
the electrons from the pi system came in and attacked this carbonyl. Tetrahedral intermediate collapse, reforms the carbonyl, and that acetyl-CoA is now gone. So essentially we have plus um, S-CoA. Alright. So that's the end of the uh, thiolase step. End of the clase and condensation. We've condensed two acetyl-CoAs. Now we move on to the aldol reaction. So we have two carbonyls here, um, but you got to remember this is the aldol reaction. So we have to form an alcohol. If we attack here, we'll have the same as before, and this will be a leaving group. So what we do is we attack here. So again, we use the thioester. So it collapses in and attacks pulls up. In this case we want to form the alcohol so I'm going to continue this arrow and cause it to be protonated with a general acid. Okay. Um, so what do we have? We're getting, we're getting awful close to this as you can see. Um, so we've now linked these carbons. We formed this. It's the aldol reaction. We formed an alcohol. We formed, um, we've reformed this uh, carbonyl. So this was the aldol, this was the enolate that attacked. We still have the S-CoA. It attacked here into this carbonyl system. This was protonated and now we have this. So what's the difference between these two at this point? So we still have to do a reduction here and we have to form this car, this carboxylic acid. And that's the one thing I didn't mention in the, the substance is you actually have a water attacking in to form that. So we just evoke some water, some uh, base tax comes through, tetrahedral intermediate once again, you get the collapse, we've seen it many times, and you have the carboxylic acid. So you might be tempted to write like this, but that's not quite right because this is going to be a really low pKa, so somewhere around 4. So I'm going to write like this. All right, good. Now we just got to reduce here. This is, this is the, uh, the uh, step, the regulation step. Remember, HMG-CoA reductase. So we're going to reduce here. We're going to use NADPH. These electrons are going to come in and attack. Tetrahedral and immediate collapse. This leaves, okay, same as before. And what do we replace the S-CoA with? We replace it with the attacking um, NADPH's hydrogen, okay? All right, we just have to do it one more time now. NADPH comes in and attacks. And this time, it's protonated to form the alcohol. So I evoke the general acid and it goes to the product. Okay, so let's review one more time. What do we have here? We had the clasing condensation. Two, two of these um, are now condensed and then we had the aldol reaction at which point the, the alcohol was formed and then we had the um, HMG-CoA reductase reduced two times here to cause an alcohol group with what was an acetyl-CoA carbonyl group. And lastly, don't forget, this, this has to be attacked to uh, cause this carboxylic acid group. All right, that's it for part one. We'll see you in uh, some more of the parts on our way to cholesterol. Uh, thanks for watching.